Good day, golf club golfers. We're going to take a look at uh, Crooked Stick today. Uh, as the owner of the community called the Golf Club Amateur Golf Society, uh, it's kind of my duty to uh, provide uh, activity for the members, uh, to scout out courses uh, either for uh, you know single round daily outings or uh, multi-round, multi-course tour events. So I happened upon this uh, Crooked Stick uh, Saturday setup and uh, gave it a play, gave it a look. And uh, we'll set out. And as is my habit, I like, on the first tee I like to uh, get the high course overview and swing around and Take a look at the design features. I found this course to be authentic, at least to my eye. I think the designer did a fine job on it. Uh, a good amount of infrastructure and detail work, uh, you know, without going overboard, which I can appreciate. Designer is limited by uh, what's available in the designer itself, but uh, for the most part, uh, there are many out there to do a bang up job, uh, even with that limitation. So, anyway, we go out, we uh, do the overview, just take a look at things. Uh, my luck today was to uh, pretty much uh, the wind was down. Uh, uh, null to nearly negligible. Uh, I found the fairways to be hard and fast. I found the greens to be hard and fast as well. Uh, the pin locations, while you know not prom date easy, I did find them to be reasonable. Some two putts. A few birdies here and there when I could get the approach close. So one thing I realized uh, is uh, that whatever uh, long approach shot, uh, you know, some kind of a long iron I found, uh, for the most part I found that whatever I thought was a good yardage, uh, one club less was better. So anyway, like I say, with the wind conditions, uh, I was not tempted once uh, this whole round to use the driver. If anybody's seen uh, any of my recent video here, uh, you know that our Amateur Golf Society uh, has a strict set of uh, so settings, uh, as well as an agreement uh, as far as non-use of the shot modifier in any way. All right, so every a, shot must be executed so uh, by swing. When I say no use of the shot modifier, I'm... What I'm saying is you can hit the trigger <clears throat> to check your lie. <clears throat> but any modification of loft, D loft, draw, or fade is prohibited uh, in any kind of competition that is set uh, for casual play. It is you know, asked, nice swing. recommended, and hoped. Uh, this rule is followed, but as far as any competitions, uh, any use of the modifier would be prohibited. And for the bird. So, I made a pretty good shot in there. Give me a birdie chance. All you want is a chance. You know, pin set in some kind of realistic location. Not that it needs to be easy all the time, but... Uh, for the most part, uh, you know, if we get it, you know, close like this, uh, with a birdie opportunity, uh, you know, hopefully we all have the skills to uh, do no more than a two putt. So that was the first hole, and I did pretty well. Starting things off at one under. I'll take you up to fourteen. Again, pretty decent side li uh, sight lines on this course. And again, uh, I was not tempted to use the driver. 
once the community uh, decided to go to hardest swing, uh, we were finding out that it's, you know, it's not an easy thing to smack the driver straight uh, all the time. All right, I did some experimentation on this, and I found if I uh, you know, adjust my swing, back swing and swing tempo a bit there, uh, my net result isn't that much different than a three wood, uh, which is higher lofted and much easier to hit straight. So unless I have uh, you know, some kind of situation where the uh, the wind is significant uh, at me or from the side, uh, generally I'll take a three wood off the tee and then... Uh, Hope whatever I've deduced from experience playing okay, a few holes, you know, right. will tell me what kind of club for approach I want, uh, how the green will react uh, on landing, uh, how the ball will bounce and roll on. So uh, that's the goal of this uh, amateur golf society. So uh, very soon I should be putting up a uh, series of uh, courses and rounds. Uh, that would take us you know, through the month of July, perhaps, or, you know, at least, you know, a good couple of weeks, depending on, uh, you know, the time our members have to uh, spend on it. Uh, if any of our, my friends uh, in this game uh, see any courses I've put up or tournaments, uh, I would hope that you would play by our rules. I, mean, I can't, you know, it can't be forced. I wish it could. Maybe the next game, uh, Golf Club 2, might provide that uh, that option for setting up uh, tours and tournaments. But for, but for now, I would just ask any of my friends uh, that are not part of the Amateur Golf Society, uh, you're absolutely welcome to come and play the event, uh, but I would ask you to follow our okay, rules. Okay, so you're in the rough here. All I can do is uh, politely ask and uh, hope that you will comply. So now here we are on 16. <clears throat> I hit a little light rough here off the tee. The lie doesn't look too favorable. So I'm going to try to play this smart. I'm going to start it, try to stay out of the water and preserve a par somehow. One thing I did enjoy about this course, uh, you know, was the detail involved. You see some uh, water hazard markers there to the right uh, on any of the overheads of the hole you might have seen. So out of bounds areas, uh, you know, all legitimate additions uh, to a good design, I think. Now here I'm 44 yards out uh, with a null wind a couple feet down, so, you know. A pitch shot is appropriate here, but uh, you know, I, did, I didn't want all of it. I don't want all 45 yards and whatever uh, rollout I'm going to get. So the trick here was to take somewhat less of a swing without any use of the modifier at all. Hence, uh, you know, some practice uh, back swings there just to kind of find a groove. Hit it up. You see I got 92% on that without any artificial uh, aid. And a uh, pretty decent shot, and uh, you know, preserving my par. We call the tee shot was in the rough, so I had to, you know, I had to lay up to safety. So anyway, that's kind of the story of what the Amateur Golf Society is doing. Uh, the rules, which you'll see a splash page on at the end of the video, and the prohibition of the shot modifier. Uh, nothing ambiguous, no gray areas. You simply don't use it. That's the rule. <clears throat> so anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope we get some more people to come and uh, join our society. That was my finish. I was two over. I was satisfied with that, and that's our settings. Have a nice